All right, so welcome back to another edition of uh, Home Movies with Glass Orchid Aftermath. Uh, today's video um, is it's this is pretty tough for me to do this right now. I do have to I have to admit that um, I uh, I basically found out that uh, Bert Yonch had passed away, and uh, just uh, just yesterday, and um, I don't know. In a way, it's it's kind of rough because I had just seen him uh, in December, December 17th. He played at a show in Pittsburgh. And um, it's, you know, definitely a good story. And, and you know, Sam and I are, are, are big fans of Bert Yonch. And, um, you know, she loves the Pentacle and things like that. And, you know, I like his, you know, as, as a guitar player, you know, he he was, you know, he's he definitely had his, his picking style was just phenomenal. Um, but uh, it just, it's kind of one of those things that just, you know, you realize how life short, how, how short life is, I guess. Um, but I, I mean, it's just, I had, I, it's a funny story because I had been sick for about a week uh, prior to seeing, you know, going to the concert. And I just, I really didn't even feel like going that way. I just had, I remember I just didn't have like any energy. I'd, I'd had a cold for like a week. And, um, but we had missed him. Uh, I think he either it was the year before or two years before. A friend of ours had gotten married. I think it, I guess at this point it would have been the year before, and um, he uh, he was going to play at the Andy Warhol Museum. And I guess you know with with his with his health, the shows had to be canceled. So, um, and I really didn't know about that until after after the show that we had seen in December. Um, that, that those shows had to be canceled because of, you know, just because of those particular reasons. And, um, so, I mean, it really made it kind of, you know, I, in a way I, 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 I spent a long time kind of thinking about how upset I was that I had missed him, missed him. And, you know, oh, when's he going to come again? You know what I mean? And because he just, he, he never tours around this area. I mean, he really doesn't really tour much out, outside of England at the time. He really wasn't, I mean, it was, most of it was in England. So, uh, you know, got to got to go to the show, and it was funny because we had gone into this church. So it was at the first Unitarian Church in Pittsburgh, and uh, I kind of went in, and uh, you know, with Sam and I went to the bathroom. So we, you know, we figured that uh, you know, so we would get get good seats. We didn't have to get up or anything like that during the show, and um, we really had missed the entire first band, which was the Peggy Young band, which is Neil Young's wife. And um, but yet I'm you know I'm down basically was in the bathroom, and uh, you know I kind of walk in and I, you know, saddle up to the, the urinal and right next to me is Bert Yonch. And, uh, <laughs> uh, you know, as, as the man rules go, you know, no, nothing, we, we didn't say anything at all. And then as we kind of both walked out, sort of, you know, uh, you know, I kind of said, you know, hope you have a good show and all that. And it was just very, very odd, you know, that, that something like that happened where, you know, to me, you know, Bert Yonch is just, you know, he's just huge. He's just a huge, you know, the, guitar player, I mean, it's like, um, and it just kind of is very humbling, you know, because it's, a lot of times we put these people on pedestals and things like that, these rock stars and rock gods and things like that, and, and uh, you know, they're no different than you and me, so, uh, it was kind of a very interesting, you know, it kind of set the tone that it was just going to be an interesting evening, um, so, you know, we went up, and it was in a church, and I would say there's probably only about maybe 125 to 150 people there, if that, it was very... I mean, the, the church was, was about, you know, I would say it was pretty full. There was a few empty pews, but um, kind of opened up with, you know, Katie Krull. Um, I did, you know, did a little commentary on Blackwater side and kind of how uh, Jimmy Page had stolen it. And, you know, even though it was a, you know, it was a traditional song. Um, I'm going to show you a little bit of a clip here. And I do apologize because, like I said, it's in, in a way that I, I kind of feel ashamed that I even have some of this stuff because uh, it was... It, it was such an intimate concert, you know, nobody was, you know, usually when you go to a concert, you know, people are on their phones texting away and snapping photos and all that, but it was really, you know, everybody just kind of, you know, take an occasional picture here and there, nothing, uh, nothing too crazy, and, you know, I was, I was filming, and I, I just kind of felt bad doing it, because we were sort of up towards the front and, and all that, and, um, you know, sometimes when I feel like I'm filming, I'm sort of paying more attention to what's being filmed than actually to paying attention to the concert. So uh, this this clip is going to be a little short. Um, it's uh, it's tuned Rosemary Lane, uh, which is just a great, which is a great song. So uh, we'll be back in a moment. Yes. 
So the next song that uh, he had played, now this one may be something that a lot of people, um, you know, you, you may not have, I, I would imagine, I don't think he ever recorded this because it was just something that he had kind of experienced recently. He had played with, either was, uh, I think it was, it was definitely with Pete Doherty. I don't know if it was with Babe, Baby Shambles, um, but he sort of wrote this song. It's called Ducking and Diving, which was sort of his, um, and there's a little bit of commentary in here where he, he kind of caught him midway where he's just kind of talking about how that just, there was like 4,000 people. And, um, you know, he, one thing that he, he's sort of a shy person. So he really doesn't, I mean, one thing is that he doesn't really want to play to large, you know, large crowds and things like that. He's, I mean, he's gone on record saying that quite a bit, but, uh, so this is a pretty cool song and, you know, definitely, uh, spotlight some of his, you know, just amazing guitar work.
right, and that last but not least, uh, just here's a little quick video here, just uh, what happened at the end of the show. All right, and there it is, the autographed Burt Yonch record. So, um, if you have a chance, you know, definitely go check out, you know, the Pentacle. Definitely have a great body of work with that, those type of musicians, and his solo stuff. You know, just just is is amazing. Uh, Ellie Turnaround, um, you know, his first self-titled album. You know, did some stuff with uh, John Renburn, and just just an amazing musician, and uh, he will be missed. So, you know definitely be raising a pint to Bert tonight, so rest in peace, Bert.